Hey Expedition Footprints kids! Thank you for joining me today. This is our last lesson on thankfulness and I'm excited to tell you the great story we have today. Let's pray first and thank God for giving us today. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for this story that we're about to hear and thank you for all the children that are here to listen. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's children said, Amen. Good job. All right. Today, I want you to get your Bibles. And I also want you to get paper and crayons, okay? So pause the video now and get your supplies. Okay, this is what I want you to do. You got everything? Get your paper and your crayons out. While I'm telling you the story today, I want you to draw the story, okay? So you can start off by drawing a tree. So I drew me a tree real quick. So start with your drawing of a tree first. And then as I tell the story, you can add people to it, okay? People and things. So today's story is about a man that many people didn't like. They called him a sinner, which is funny because aren't we all sinners? And don't we all make mistakes and do things we shouldn't? Hmm. The story starts with Jesus entering a place called Jericho. These days, Jesus had been going around telling parables and performing miracles. And the word was spread about this man named Jesus and the amazing things he was doing and saying. So it was common when Jesus came to a place, people would rush out to see him. Just imagine if a famous person came walking into your town or down your street. Yeah, people would be telling their friends and their neighbors, come quickly, come quickly, and there would be a large crowd around him. And this is how it happened for Jesus. In this town that Jesus was entering lived a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector, and in his place, he had lots of money tax collector money, which was probably stolen money. That's why people didn't really like him. Tax collectors were not very honest people. Zacchaeus had heard a commotion and soon realized that Jesus was in Jericho. So he rushed like everyone else to see him. And when he got to the crowd, he couldn't see anything. We figured Jesus was in the middle of it somewhere, but even standing up on his tippy toes, he still couldn't even see Jesus. You probably know what it's like to be shorter than all the other adults around you. I do too. I'm not very tall. Well, Zacchaeus wasn't very tall for a grown-up man either. And he couldn't really ask someone to pick him up to see better. That would have been silly for a grown-up man. So Zacchaeus saw a sycamore tree in the corner of his eye, and he decided to climb it so that he could see Jesus. So that's our sycamore tree. Have you drawn anything else on there? When Jesus reached the spot Zacchaeus was, he looked up into the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. Yeah, I must stay at your house today. So he came down. And right away, Jesus welcomed him gladly. Well, this was so cool. First, Jesus knew Zacchaeus' name without even asking him first. Second, Jesus didn't care that other people didn't like Zacchaeus. He wanted to visit with him at his house anyway. And third, Jesus said that he must stay at his house today. This means that Jesus knew that God wanted him to go there, and Jesus obeyed. Jesus asked to go to Zacchaeus' house in front of everyone, and as soon as they heard this, they all started talking amongst themselves. They were shaking their heads and saying, he's going to the, be a guest at a sinner's house. I'm sure they both knew what people were saying but Zacchaeus was so thankful that Jesus was calling out to him that he jumped out of the tree and he said to the Lord, Look, Lord, look, here and now I give half of my money to the poor. Pretty rich, so that's a lot of money, even if it's half of it. And if I have cheated or stolen anybody out of anything, I will give them four times the amount. Wow, 
That is a great way to show how thankful he was. The important part about this is that Zacchaeus had a change of heart. And he also said that he would pay back people four times the amount. So if he owed anyone, even a dollar, he would pay them back the extra four dollars. So Zacchaeus didn't have to do this, but he wanted to make things more than right to show Jesus of his thankfulness. And when Jesus heard this, he said, Today salvation has come to the house of Zacchaeus, because this man, too, is the son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Jesus meant that he had forgiven his sins and that even though people didn't think Zacchaeus was good, God loved him too and knew what his heart, that his heart was good. Then the very last part, Jesus said that he came to seek and save the lost. This is the whole point of why God sent his son Jesus to come to earth. To find those who didn't know God and were lost and to show them who God is so that they could live forever in heaven with him. So what do you think a Christian or a believer is? Someone who believes in Jesus and does what Jesus teaches in the Bible. Very good. How can they be more like Jesus and show him how thankful we are? How can we, how can everybody be more thank, more like Jesus and show Jesus how thankful we are for all that he's done for us? You can be very good. You can be praying, good, being good and praying, being kind, not being mean, sharing, helping, very good. You guys are so smart. And when we are a new believer, do we stay the same or do we change? Did Zacchaeus stay a thief or did he change? Right, we change, that's right. What are some ways that we can change? We can get better at being more like Jesus. That's right. So how did your drawings turn out? Can you hold them up? Good job, guys. You did a wonderful job. Well, I'm so thankful to have spent this time with you today. And I thank Jesus, I thank Jesus for you in my life. Have a wonderful week and remember that Jesus loves you. And so do I. Let's pray. God, thank you for this time together with my kids. Thank you for each and every one of them. Thank you for everybody that watches the video, God, and hears your lesson and hears more about Jesus. Um, thank you for sending your son for us. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, everyone. You guys have a great week. Next week starts our new series. Bye.